Hello, welcome back to Untitled Project Podcast. I am one of the hosts, Brian. I'm the host with the most, you Mark. Said, you said you weren't going to do that crap. No, that's for the, that's for a different thing. You said you weren't going to do that. That's now I've got to do something better to make up to be better than the host with the most. No. Um, so anyways. <sighs> All right, so it's been a few weeks since we've uh, we've dropped a, a new episode. So mm-hmm. this one's going to be a little bit of a special one. Uh, a little different direction we're going with this. What? What's our subject matter for today, Mark? Our subject matter for today is Netflix. Netflix. So basically a what to watch kind of deal on Netflix. Yeah, like what's came out recently mm-hmm. um, and um, like what I've been watching. Brian is a slacker and really hasn't been watching much. I've been busy. Anyways, um, so um, we're just going to uh, like touch on a couple things that I think is popular and um, just something that's actually coming out. As we're recording this today. Yeah. And so, I, I might dabble in a few things outside of Netflix that I've watched or yeah. want to watch. Maybe we yeah. should get going on that. So I'm um, going to talk a little bit about, um, let's talk about that documentary that dropped, The Keepers. I think it came out a couple months ago, but um, I just watched it. And I watched it kind of in one day because I marathoned it. It's, okay, so I'm, I'm not a big documentary watcher on Netflix. I basically go on netflix to try and find any of my old cartoons i watched as a child oh my god and what no it's, just, it's fun right yeah, yeah. Uh, i basically go in there to try and find any old cartoons i can find and watch them uh, i get looney tunes mm-hmm. at one time it's not there anymore so i'm not big into this documentary thing basically. yeah so I, 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 I compare it i compare it a lot to um um how to make a murderer that's the uh um yeah I'm, I'm fishing for a, for a line here, buddy. Help me out. That was the guy that was convicted, the, wrongfully convicted. Yeah, the guy, yeah, the guy's wrongfully convicted. But yeah. then he got after he got released from the wrongful conviction, he, he got, got convicted again. Back in, yeah, because of circumstances. I'm not going to get into detail of like. First of all, it's just all opinionated. There's a lot of facts yeah. that say he did a murder. A lot of facts that say he doesn't do the murder. Didn't, so didn't, didn't they say that this documentary actually got him released or something like that? Or? Oh, he's still in prison. Okay. And so is his nephew. Shows how much I watch those videos. His nephew was in jail too, but they appealed. Um, they he thought they thought he was getting out, but then they appealed it. Okay. And they threw him back in. So what's this one about? This so one this keepers. one is about um, back in the '60s, um, a nun went missing. I think it was '69. 1969, I believe. Okay. Um, and the nun went missing, and that's how it starts off. It's about the nun going missing, and, okay. and basically them finding her. I think it was um, like two months later or something like that, and they found her dead in um, like in an empty empty spot. Okay. Basically, then this documentary then gets built up and built up more and more um, into um, a whole thing about um, about a priest that was. Um, um, basically raping Holy students. Crap! Are you kidding me? Yeah, and Jesus. like he and then how the church like covered this is a it real up. Real story? Yeah, yeah. Holy it's all it's all documentary with real interviews and everything like that. Um, the priest obviously is not alive anymore. Um, they did have some, but they like intertwined. Everything in the story is intertwined yeah. with itself. Yeah, because the nun was a teacher at the school, and the and the um the priest that was um. Accused like, of this, he ran the school. Uh, yeah, okay, so makes sense, like yeah. it was a Catholic school, obviously. Was uh, the the guy who made the documentary was anybody famous? Is anybody is he done Ryan? Um, I don't think he did anything before, but his name was Ryan something. You no know Michael Moore kind of stuff. No, going no, in there. No, 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 Okay, cool, cool. No, you can tell it's a little older too, uh, and they just released it. Like he just got a big release on yeah, it. They're probably trying to sail on the coattails of the other one. That yeah, did well. yeah. Like I think this one, um, the way they talk, I think this will at least finished in. Because they even in the, in the when they write words into like the the scene, yeah, it says like um, oh they're going to appeal it in 2017, which is this year, and yeah, it just so, came out. Yeah, so, so it, must have been it was filmed. Ago. It yeah, was filmed yeah. a couple, a yeah. few years ago. Yeah, um, it was really well done though. Yeah, maybe I'll give it a gander. I'll um, give it a look. And it, it's one of those things that you just want to keep watching though. It grabs your attention. You just want to keep watching it. That happens to me sometimes, yeah. even if it's not a big genre that I like. Like I, I'm not like I said, I'm not a big documentary kind of guy. Uh, the one documentary I did watch, I believe it was on Netflix a long time ago, was uh, oh I can't remember the name of it. It was about the killer whale. Oh, uh, uh, that black, went to Sea World. Um, um, 
blackfish or something like that or yeah I think yeah that's what it was he the, the killer whale was like you a actually show watched whale. that i watched it and i know it, people that can't stomach that i because it, it showed him basically killing a few yeah. people on on the documentary because i guess that guy's actually that whale the guy the whales actually killed like six people yeah and uh they keep keep going to the shows like should have just let him go right you know yeah. once he's killed one person see you later right. but it got me hooked into it and that's not like something like that to get me so i could probably get hooked into the other one you never yeah. know so maybe uh, it's, it's, it's it. really good like it goes back and forth from a murder mystery like murder documentary to the whole catholic church thing and then um these victims that came forward and how they were trying to like how um the archdiocese in, oh, in wow. boston wow. uh completely like um Try to just like shrug it off, like nothing ever happened, and they don't want to just like, swept ever... it under the rug. Yeah, yeah and, this, and, and, later. and this happened years before Spotlight, so that whole investigation thing that happened. Yeah. So this happened years before that, and this stuff came out in the '90s, early '90s. Oh wow! Is when um, the girl um, that was like the one girl they called her Jane Doe. But then her name came out in the documentary. They probably had a little bit more of a tighter lid on it back then. She didn't want anybody to know her identity. Yeah. So only two people actually was uh, part of the trial, and it was Jane Doe and Jane Rowe. Oh, okay. And okay. it was those two that were um, kind of basically telling the story, like, like to the, to the court, courts yeah, yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's it's actually a really it really well put together because it kind of flips you back and forth to the whole murder mystery. Yeah, and everything's intertwined, is, and it doesn't leave you with any answers, just more questions. So I think they're gonna that's, bring that's in something good, more. But that's the way they do it. Yeah. The documentaries, right? they always hook you in by making you want to see another yeah. one, make you want to either look it up yourself or yeah. wait for another series continuum. Yeah, something. like yeah. well, basically, right now they're trying to get the statues of limitations um, changed. Yeah. And so um, that's what's stopping after the trial. Many years. Well, yeah, after twenty-five. Yeah. So yeah. after they're twenty-five, you can't. Uh, you, you can't, can't be tried them. for anything. Yeah. So um, they're trying to get that raised so they can actually trial it properly. They should. They should. Well, now the guy's dead and everything, but but you know, still, yeah. But, um, it, at least he'll go down in history still being convicted as a murderer or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so that's um, one thing we can watch on Netflix, right? That's yeah. not bad. That's what that one. That one really was really caught caught me in. Um, Another good one. Uh, I know you hate this show, but Orange is the New Black. The new okay, season was no. pretty good. The, the, okay, let me let, let me set us uh, something mm-hmm. straight here. It's not that I hate the show. It's I don't like. He it. hates the show. I don't like the show. And my wife, hater. my wife watches this show. She binge watches it, and then when she's done binge watching it, she's talking about See, it. See, but a lot of people have this misconception that misconception that it's all about uh, Piper still. Like the the one that was the main actress in in, in is the that first the chick and that had one? no teeth? No. no, she was the blonde, the one. That oh, got... the one that was Jason Jason Big yeah, Jack's yeah, yeah. wife, and she went to jail for. Don't tell me, didn't she run over somebody with her car? No, 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 no. no. It was like uh, fraud or something like that. Or... No, it was like she was caught up into like a crime ring. I can't remember that. <laughs> See, I, don't, I, I only caught pits and pieces of yeah. this show. Well, after like the, the second, third season, they stopped. Catch, they, they completely switched it over. It's not about her catch anymore. Catch me up till now. I'm not going to catch you up till now. Give me give me last season at least. Because all I know what's going on when I, when I watched a It's hard little... to explain that show because a lot of things happen. There's so many different storylines in that show. Okay, well, like I... I everything, started... So at the end of last season, everything came to a peak. And it was a, basically a riot that's about to start. Okay, that's what I'm trying to get at. I, was, yeah. I watched one bit of an episode my wife was watching uh, last week, and the like whole the, so the guards were treating them like shit. Yeah, because they were all like this new uh, corporate guards. Okay, so basically, um, at the end of the last season, they all were rushing into like the hallway, and the one guard snuck in a gun, which everyone like you know about that. Mm-hmm. And the guard snuck in the gun. It shoots like it it, he, it drops out of his. Uh, his leg and um the one inmate picks it up and then everything changes and then that's where that's where it stops she's pointing the gun at him because i was watching an episode where like it's the girls are like in a room and they've got all the guards doing like a strip tease for them or something so that was the new season yeah this season that's one point so because what happened is they get like, they, do they have up... these guards hostage or something like that and they're just sitting there holding these people hostage well, yeah, they were holding them hostage so um, they can have their riot. How long has this riot have been demand. going on for? So that's what I had an initial, not an issue with, but it was just annoying. The whole season, all 13 episodes, consisted of literally two days. So two days in what? their world. 
So the whole 13 episodes was just two days. That's kind of weird. It was weird and kind of annoying. Normally, I like it when movies do that. Like when a movie from beginning to end is a 24-hour period. Like what was the one movie? Empire Records is like that. Yeah. Um, was it? Nah, not nah, that. Nah, waiting, the cook movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, think yeah, that yeah. was like that. So I like that, but no, it was. Like, it was so it was just it was just that they stretched it out, um, because there were so many storylines going on with it. They just kept stretching it out, stretching it out. That's a TV show. But you can't really do that. No, I think I think there should have been more than the two days. I think the the whole riot thing should have lasted. Maybe half the season, and then they go forth with that. Yeah. Because all they really did was build up for next season. So it's just all they did was they they, they went through a riot, and then at the end of the, the season, spoilers, I'm going to throw them out there, but they, you just see them all getting onto separate buses going to different prisons. So they literally used this entire season to set up for next season. Yes. That's kind of boring, isn't it? It, it was it was interesting because what happens is just it's just kind of frustrating. It's, it's just, not my favorite show on TV, but it's, I, I find it very entertaining. It's not on TV; it's on Netflix. Well, Netflix, Netflix ah. is pretty much TV nowadays. Yeah, now Netflix is gonna run the world at the end of it. Yeah, pretty much. No, that's uh, Amazon. Yeah, you're not wrong. Amazon yeah, Amazon take will care run of the world yeah. soon. Then um, Google. Okay, um, so so Orange is the New Black. Obviously, it's a big fan favorite. Everybody, yeah, everybody loves, loves Orange is the New Black. Uh, I know I'm gonna get a lot of grief because I said I don't like it, but whatever, I don't care. Uh, He's a I, hater. I'm not a big fan. You I, know what I, it is? It's, oh, it's, the, here we go. it's the whole women's rights thing. Oh, That's don't even is. start that crap. <laughs> don't even bother with that. I just don't like the show. There's nothing wrong with it, okay? And I thought it would too because it's got Donna from that 70s show in it. And I love her. I have mm-hmm. such a crush she on her. She does get naked in it, so. That's the only reason why I watched the first season. <laughs> uh, but um, I don't know. It didn't get its hooks in me, man. Like, I, I've watched a lot of stuff I probably shouldn't watch that somebody like me and like my likes probably wouldn't go towards but yeah. i really like a lot of shows that i normally wouldn't mm-hmm. but that one just didn't get its hooks in me i don't know why i i i, I don't know why and I th- it's something i probably should like because everybody out there likes. well I, I know a few people that just didn't like the whole storyline being revolved around pep uh piper the whole time yeah and a lot of people were irritated with her character because she's not the greatest actress in the world she, and no she's it's just, not it's, it's really, not like yeah. so it kind of kills you there, and and the whole story just kept going and going. Yeah. So I think once they finally broke away from that is when it got, got really good again. That's but good. Um, the good. person that makes it, Genji Cohen. Yeah. Is that her name? I have no. You're asking me if it's, I think it's Genji Cohen. I have no idea. This. Well, totally she don't made like she made the show Weeds. Okay. So Weeds was I, that Weeds was, was the show. same kind of thing that for was a me good though. Show. So Weeds was amazing for like the first season, the second season, third season. And then, and then after that, when they she yeah. burnt down aggressive, and she kind of just went on her own. It kind of got funky and weird, and you know, it just never really found its place again. That was like Dexter for me. After season four of Dexter, it they, they just took a weird after direction. after Rita died. The season after yeah. Rita died season was amazing. Four. Season four. Yeah, but the season after she died was amazing uh, because John Lithgow was. That was the season all, that like, John Lithgow was in when she died. It was the season after. No, he's the one who killed Rita. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah he was yeah. a Trinity killer. So that that was the season. Yeah. That was that season, season was four. phenomenal. Yeah. That was the best season. Season one was good. Season two was good because he was a Bay Harbor butcher. So he was basically hunting himself. Yeah. They found all of his dead bodies in the water. Yeah. Season three was the Skinner. That was when uh, Lydia, his new girlfriend, came in. Then he switched back to Rita full time. And then season four is when the Trinity killer yeah. came in. John Lithgow. Blew oh, my mind. Yeah, he Blew was so good. My mind. He was so good in that. But, uh, then the show kind of fell off. I, yeah. I never actually. I'm gonna be. Honest, I never watched the last season. Don't waste your. Time. Well, I still want to watch it, but I still have. I just never watched so it. So annoying. The last three seasons of Dexter were. Yeah, so, I've heard. I've heard. So I've heard, bad. I've heard. I still want to watch it for myself. I can't. I I, I regretted watching it. Now we're regretted. talking about Showtime shows. Why are we talking about Showtime shows? I don't know. We no, because no, because we're tapering into the fact that Gen- some good shows only lasted yeah, up to they, like four seasons, and afterwards it kind of kind of went off. Kind of kind of tapered off. You're talking off. about Weeds, which led into Orange Is the New Black. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, well, speaking of uh, Genji Cohen, I think she's making that new show that's coming out. Uh, is that the one you just showed me? Yeah, the one we watched the trailer for. Yeah. Um, the Glow. I think she's making that. So. Okay, I'm going to go and say, and just correct me when I'm wrong when I'm done. The basis of this show is there's a girl who's trying to be an aspiring actress, 
and she can't really seem to get the break. Now, I believe after looking at the trailer, you guys can go check it out and tell us what you think too. Yep. I believe from the trailer, it's set in the 80s, maybe the mid to early 80s. There's a lot of neon lights, rollerblades, big coats, big hair. So I'm thinking uh, this girl is living in that world where a woman still can't really get the prime roles or prime jobs because of how sexist the United States was or, or even the, the, the world at the time was back in the early 80s. Yeah. So she's not getting the roles that she wants because she wants to be an actress. Mm -hmm. And then she gets a gig at a wrestling. And I'm still not even sure if it's they're actually wrestling or if they're filming a wrestling event. No, like no, no. So they're, they're creating wrestling. a wrestling um like, like, an, like, uh, what you call it? Like, they're creating a women's wrestling league. League, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's the thing I wasn't sold on. I, or not sold, but I, I wasn't sure on it. it. Yeah. The trailer made it look like they were kind of, because he said, you know, we got to film this thing in one day. We got to do this in one thing. Yeah. I thought maybe they're just trying to film a, a video, a movie about women wrestling, but then it did well, look like that they were training. Yeah, but think about wrestlers. the trailer. The, 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 I bet you it's going to be like, oh, they're they're making like a promo video or something probably. like that. Oh, yeah, probably. You know, definitely. something, something definitely. stupid like that. But I'm sorry, it wasn't Genji Cohen that made this. I think it's just like producers from Orange is the New Black. Yeah, uh, that, yeah, that, that, that might be in the that trailer. Genius, yeah. 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 Um, but I, um, You know what? From first appearances, I actually like this trailer. I think it looks pretty nifty. Yeah, I like Alison Brie, though, so... Okay, now Allison Brie, that's a girl that just married uh, Dave, Franco. Dave Franco, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. She was also in Community and something else too. Um, uh, Get Hard? No, it was with, another big show. I no. want to say Gossip Girl. I know I'm no, wrong. No, she was on Community. Was it just community? There's yeah. got to be something else. That's she's where on. she's. I'm pretty sure she started on Community. Talk about Glow. I'm gonna check this out. Anyway, so it was, uh, basically, it's like I, what it seems like is, is actresses that really just can't can't get actress roles um so they go and they find this opportunity to become women wrestlers but i and like the trailer's kind of mixed kind of mixed i don't know how to really explain it i said just just go watching the trailer itself and then you know kind of judge for yourself but for my it does take have of it, a whole heck of a lot going on in that trailer yeah because they they go from her trying to be an actress to ah, i was right what she was in something else what was she in something you should know what Mad Men. Oh. Yeah. Ah, she was Trudy. Yeah. Trudy. Yeah. Why don't? Why would I know Mad Men? I've only seen you like Mad Men. Didn't I've only you? seen random episodes of Mad Men. Well, I thought you did like Mad Men. No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah. Um, but it, it was kind of all over the show that like, them being actresses and then them going for I guess they, it must have been like picked for a role and it ended up being this wrestling thing. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. I think there's like a they they try and have this like hidden rivalry too. Yeah, maybe it was like an open casting call. I bet. Yeah, like and the one they, girl they shows up wrestling. and sees the other girl, and she's like, yeah. "Why is she here?" Blah blah blah. I'm like, "Oh my god, here comes the story!" Right? Yeah. Here's the premise of it. They're both could be fighting for that lead yeah. wrestling kind of role. So it's it, it's fun. It's interesting. Yeah. And it, it's cool because it is literally an all female cast. Yeah. The odd there's I think maybe I counted maybe two or three dudes and even when I was looking through the cast list on It's all women, yeah. on IMDb, I didn't get to a dude until like 15 16 actors down the list. Yeah. So it's it's heavily female orientated. Yeah. I think Netflix is noticing that that's a trend, right? Like yeah. how good Orange is the New or Orange is the New Black is, it's Yeah, kind of going and I on think well that. it has a lot to do with like um culture itself like um yeah. you know feminism and everything like yeah. that. Yeah. I think it'll be fine. I think this, this show looks interesting. I'm definitely going to give it a shot. Yeah. It came out today? Yeah, well... This week? It's coming up today. <laughs> this week of, of July, <laughs> one, or June. One of the last weeks of June, yeah. It'll yeah. be out. It's coming out... It, it came out... End. It comes out June 23rd. June 23rd, okay. So, which is... which is For us, that's today. That's today. Yeah. So... Uh, <laughs> but if you're listening to this, it might be yesterday or a week ago. We don't know. Yeah. June 23rd. So, it comes out. So, yeah. go check it out. Yeah. 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 So um, yeah, that's something I'm looking forward to. There's also that there like at the far the end of the year. I don't know. I'm, I'm not too sure what else is coming out for Netflix, but near the end of the year, there's that big Will Smith movie that's coming out. Oh yeah, what was the name of that one? I'm not too sure, but he's a cop. Yeah, he's a cop, and he's it, like it's like the world is like infested with all these like vampires and ghouls and demons and stuff like that. Is and, it? Yeah, and he's. Uh, He's the cop who actually fights all of these. Okay. It, it, it's a David Ayer movie, too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. I'm actually excited for that. And for those of you who don't know David Ayer, he has a lot to do with Gotham, the TV show, and he's one who wrote 
and I believe he also directed the Suicide Squad. Yes. Uh, I don't care what anybody says. They knocked David Ayer for Suicide Squad. I thought Suicide Squad was good. Okay, I don't I don't knock David Ayer for that. I think David Ayer was told to do that. I think it was another Joel Schmo- Schumacher um, debacle. Yeah. I think the fact that um, I think that he got his way of what he wanted to make in the first place, but then what happened was I think they, <clears throat> the the studio got involved with that. And they're like, oh, wow, this movie is actually going to be bigger than what we thought. Um, let's try to do it this way. They didn't give him enough time to write it either. No, I just, I, like I said, I think I think it was just the whole point of um, <coughs> him, like, Excuse me. losing creative control out of that one. Okay, so this movie, that it's a Netflix-made only movie. It's called Bright. Yeah. Uh, and it has a pretty good cast. Now, it's got Will Smith. It's got Joel Edgerton. Uh, I'm a big fan of Joel Edgerton. You're I, a big I, fan I, of everybody. Shut up. <laughs> uh, it's got Naomi Rampace in it. Now, she was the girl who originally played Elizabeth Salander in the original, I think they're Danish versions of Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. And the girl caught fire and the girl kicked the hornet's nest. Uh, she was the original one of that one. Uh, it's got Edgar Ramirez in it, which is, let's. I'm going to throw this out there too. Uh, the, you know, everyone has, I'm sure, has seen that American crime show with Cuba Gooding Jr. in it. Mm-hmm. That played O.J. Simpson. Oh, yeah, the O.J. one? Yeah, the season two coming out is about the shooting of uh, Versace when he got shot on his front steps. Is that his... what that's going to be? Yeah, season two is going to be I thought be they built. were doing American Horror Story was doing that. No, no, it's American Crime that's doing that. Oh. And Edgar R- R- Ramirez, he's playing Versace in that season. Okay. So, so that's, that's how I'm going to tie him into that. So, yeah, this show, this movie looks okay. We saw a trailer for it uh, not too long ago, and it's literally like a, a, a city of ghouls. And mm-hmm. uh, the, the quick description it says right here is it's set in a world where mystic creatures live side by side with humans. A human cop is forced to work with an orc to find a weapon everybody's prepared to kill for. Uh, normally, that sounds like a whole bunch of rubbish and yeah. mumble jumbo. But it's got Will Smith in it. Yeah. So you know it's going to be at least entertaining. Yeah. Put aside the fact that it's a movie where he's a cop fighting with an orc to find a gun. Like, that's meh. Okay, it's 2017. Everybody's been exhausted with, with ideas. We've all been diluted to dumb stuff we've seen on TV. How's about you just watch it? Because it's probably going to be entertaining. Yeah. He's going to have some kind of woo ha thing in it like he normally does. Yeah. And it's gonna be fun. It's Will Smith. Enjoy a Will Smith movie. Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. I'm excited for it. I'm gonna. Watch, gonna I, really I'm a Will Smith it. fan though. Even like, I, well, I don't watch all of his movies. Like, eh, I try some to. of them. Some I try to. Like, I do all try these to. Recent movies. Some of them, like all. some of them, are pretty. Like, I don't even feel and feel like the concussion movie that came out after Earth. I haven't watched that either. Uh, I heard it was pretty bad. Yeah, I wouldn't watch that. Um, you know what else we forgot actually that came out? House of Cards. I think we touched that on. The episode before no. the, the that no. we touched that it was coming up. Yeah, it was coming up. Now, now it's actually fully out. I'm bad because I'm behind a season on House of Cards. Okay, I'm in only in the second season. Okay, so, so. I'm not as bad as you. Yeah, uh, I caught House of Cards late. Like I, I was, I was already in the last season for this current one before I started watching it. Mm-hmm. And my wife was caught up up all day on it, but I, I caught up on it. I really liked it. Um, <clears throat> I think I'm in season three. Three and a half I, I got through. You're not that far ahead of me. Or I was right near the end of season three, starting season four. Okay, because it's so, now it's season five. Now it's in season five, yeah. Um, wow. Like, that is one of the best shows I've ever seen. Yeah, I was really, because uh, I never watched it when it first came out, obviously. Yeah. Um, so I was really like, oh, well, this is actually a really good show. Uh, Kevin Spacey is, is just... The man. He's really good at the anything he man. does, so... I, I I love Kevin Spacey. I've yeah. always been. You know what one of my favorite Kevin Spacey movies American is? American Beauty. Nope. You'll never guess it. I don't know. Because everyone's gonna say either like American Beauty bosses. or nope, nope. Or everyone would probably say Usual Suspects or something mm-hmm. like that. Right? It is an old school gem movie for me, and it's The Negotiator. Oh. With Samuel L. Jackson. Yeah. Gets framed for murdering his partner, and he's a hostage negotiator, and he gets another hostage negotiator from another town, which happens to be Kevin Spacey, yeah. to help him out of the situation. Yeah. I don't know why. I love that movie. Everything about that movie I love. Yeah. And it's mainly because of Kevin Spacey. Yeah. Kevin Spacey is really good. Kaiser um, so say. So anyways, they're saying that's kind of really close to real life is how this season went. 
Yeah, I, I, don't, know. I don't know. I'm going to start watching, re- like, well, watching more than what I. Fun I fact. Haven't watched. Fun fact. You can't steal my fun fact. Uh, oh, I'm I'm stealing. Fun fact. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with uh, with the House of Cards or familiar with anything with the movies or whatever, uh, if you've recently watched the Moonlight movie. Marshalia Ali, the guy who won the Academy yeah, Award for Supporting Actor for Moonlight, the which also won for Best Picture, he has been in House of Cards since season one on. He plays a character named Remy, who's mm-hmm. been in and out of the political scene. Is he? Help- in, I don't think he's in the new seasons. I don't know if he is. I, I I don't know what happened to him in season four or halfway through season three, but uh, I know he works very close with Frank. Mm-hmm. And he helped do a lot of things behind the scenes for Frank. Yeah. Maybe some of them legal, maybe some illegal to help Frank get what he had to get to become mm-hmm. what he was in the show. Yep. Awesome actor. Awesome, awesome character that he played. Yeah, fun. Uh, another fun fact. Moonlight fun was fact. just put on Netflix in Canada. Moonlight is on Netflix in Canada. Yeah, they just don't, put it on. Don't lie to me. No, they just I'm put it on. I'm watching it tonight. Yeah, they just put it on. I cannot wait. I'm so happy. Yeah. That made my day. I forgot. I day. forgot about that. I was going to tell you. I forgot. Why didn't you tell me that earlier? Because I forgot. You broke um, my heart. Another actually another good thing that's coming out this year in Netflix, Stranger Things too. I haven't seen. Oh the God, first get season. out of here! Okay, my again, my <sighs> wife watched it. She God. she uh, she she trucked through it in like three days. I trucked through it in like one day. Yeah, almost everybody did. So she told me I had to watch it. I had to watch it. I had to watch it. And I, I you know, what? so I don't good. I don't get bugged by cliches of people going, "Oh, it's so good, you have to watch it." Go ahead, tell me you I gotta watch it. I'll eventually watch it. I sat down one day. I watched the first episode, and I'm like, eh, eh, it didn't get me. It didn't hook me in. But I'm, I understand that sometimes you epi- remind me of the kid from Stranger Things. Which one? The curly hair one. Is that the kid that has no teeth? Yeah, yeah. I have teeth though. <laughs> so, how do I remind just, you of him? You just look like a bearded version of him. Just, well, because just... my beard is curly. <laughs> it's like his hair is growing yeah, out of his know. face. It's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> so I watched a second episode, and I don't know if maybe it was just like I was distracted by something or I was doing something at the time, but I couldn't get myself invested in the second episode. But I've been really itching to get back into it because it's it does have a big fan favorite i'm yeah, not it's gonna be a bandwagon good. jumper i already said you know I, I i didn't give it enough of my attention i don't think they expected it to be as big as they did to be honest with you no no well especially because uh, no i'm not knocking any of the cast but they they did a lot obviously a lot of children actors yeah and then on top of that with nona writer yeah she plays a crazy mother right? yeah, yeah and she played it really well Fun. Fun fact. Oh, God. Fun fact. Don't steal my fun uh, fact. The sheriff, I forget yeah, his yeah. name, uh, Stephen Arbor, I believe his name yeah. is. He is now the new Hellboy. They've officially relaunched another series of Hellboy. Oh, but Gil what's Moro, his face? going to be so mad. Gilmoro del Toro's script uh, was too expensive for uh, whoever it was that was originally going to buy it. Uh, and his script fully had Ron Perlman in it. And Ron Perlman is a big big Hellboy fan. Yeah, he's going to be mad. Huge. And his script got scrapped because Gilmore Del Toro said, I am not changing it no matter what. This is what it is and that's what it's going to be. This is what I need. They said, well, it's too much money. You're not going to do it. So they went to somebody else. He wrote a script. They said, that's great. It's like, well, since Ron Perlman will only work with Gilmore Del Toro, they need to go with another guy. So they got him. Steve Arbor. I know it's Arbor. I don't remember what his I don't know. I didn't even know they were doing that. But the sheriff from Stranger Things is now going to be Hellboy. Oh. So, fun, who, fun fact. Who knew? Who knew? Because I didn't. Yeah. So now, um, all, all in all, I'm going to give Stranger Things another chance. It's I, Harbor, not Arbor, by the way. What? Harbor. Harbor? Not it Arbor. Sounds, the H is silent in my world, okay? Uh-huh, okay. Harbor, okay. Arbor. You got the point. That's yeah. all that matter. Anyways, anyways. Uh, I'm going to give Stranger Things another shot. I, Seriously, I really do like you to. do look like the kid from Shut Stranger Things. Ah, believe it. Everyone alone. loves that kid. You should be proud of that. That kid's Whatever. like the star Whatever. now. Whatever. Okay, now like getting off topic, um, I don't, I don't have uh, a Netflix show coming out. Yeah. But uh, there's a few shows that we've been kicking around that I think people should pay a little bit of interest to. Um, one is The Handmaiden's Tale. 
Uh, I don't know if anybody or any of you've seen it, just hear me talking no, about no, it. No, no, you told me about it. I've only seen a few episodes of this, and everyone's going crazy over. So I said, you know what? Whatever. Bam. Fire it on. Take a look at it. Chickity check what it is. Uh, it is a softcore porn, basically, to start. Yeah, you told me about it. It sounds really weird. It is I would I would never want to watch weird. that. No, but that's what makes you want to watch it because you want to see what kind of messed up crap happens next. No, so, it doesn't entice me. Basically, what I've gathered is the world as it is in that show, certain women can have kids, most women can't. So what the men of the world do is they just drive around the streets, they find a girl, they kidnap her from her family, they turn her to the slave, and then they literally rape them every single day until they get pregnant. If they don't get pregnant, they just keep them until eventually one of them does. That's, that's weird. It's so weird, right? But the weirdest part is how they do it. Because, like, the wives of all these guys were, dude, all the guys are delegates, like generals, political leaders, uh, leaders of districts and stuff like that. Their wives can't have kids, but they want to look like it's their wife. So, like, the maid has to lay on top of the wife while the man, like, just defiles the maid on top of the wife, pretending it's his wife. That's so, that's so weird. It right? Doesn't, doesn't right? Make any sense. Why are so many people like this? Why is that a show? I don't know. Why is that a TV it's show? It's so vulgar. There's so much nudity in it. There's so much just unsettling things you see in it. And I, I watched, I think only, like, I watched bits and pieces of one episode about the last half of the second episode. And every second of it, I'm just watching going, what the F is going on? Yeah. None of it makes any sense to me. But it's got the chick from uh, Mad Men in it. Uh, I forget her name already. She's one of the main girls from Mad Men. Elizabeth something. Oh, uh, um, oh God. She was in a lot of things that like get them to the Greek and, yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, she's the main actress in it. Uh, the You know what? I'm just going to pull it up to make it easier. The girl, <laughs> if you guys watch Dexter, the last couple seasons of Elizabeth Dexter. Elizabeth Moss. Elizabeth Moss, that's right. The last couple seasons of Dexter had... Uh, uh, Hannah McKay in it. Yeah, she's in, in that you told me. Let me see here. Uh, yeah, Hannah Mc the girl played Hannah McKay. It's, uh, oh, I can't remember her name. Uh, oh, no, I, I passed up my phone. Hold on, hold on. Uh, she plays the main, like, mistress girl of the uh, the guy who runs the complex that of people who can't have kids I guess no. uh, she she's in it her name's uh, where's it right here uh, Ivan Stravosky uh, Max Mingenhella he's been a relatively like teeny bopper kind of actor for a while he's in it uh, uh, Joseph Fines is in it mm -hmm. Ralph Fines little brother uh, he's in it and uh, the girl from Gilmore Girls Alexis Bledel. She's in it, and she just got confirmed for a, a full-time uh, season cast member for season two. Oh, God, they're having season two of this. Yeah, so that show's messed oh up. Oh, my God. Uh, but you know what? Honestly, if, if you're into that kind of thing where you like watching messed up stuff and just like unsettling like what the F is going on, I think that show's right down your alley. Because watch the Keepers is better. Watch them both. Why not? Keep, keep the documentary. Watch them once it's over. This one keep, keeps going on. Yeah. Now, my last thing I want to talk about real fast uh is holy crap game of thrones oh yeah the trailer wow came out what well today yesterday uh, it came out earlier this well, week what, in june yeah june 21st i think it dropped i believe it was yeah monday yeah. or Tuesday or something like that earlier in the week yeah now i'm already excited about game of thrones i'm a big game of thrones nerd i've read all the books i've got all the toys i'm getting a tattoo for them i love them stark nerd. house go go starks right oh, we need gosh. to win nerd uh and last season was absolutely amazing and now this is the weird part because we're beyond the books now, right? Uh, uh, we're beyond the books, so we're, it, it's interesting to see for the book readers to see where this one's going to go. Now this trailer came out looked ra goddamn ridiculous. Mm -hmm. I'm beyond excited for it. And if you get a chance, look at the trailer. I believe the show premieres July July something. 16th or 17th something like or that. Something yeah, like that. I thought yeah. Go watch it. If yeah. you haven't ever, if you've always thought about watching Game of Thrones and not really done it, go do it. Please yeah, definitely catch watch up. it. That show is definitely it's worth, a keeper. It's worth it. It's worth it. Um, well, we're going to end this one here. Um, it's been a great time talking to all of you. It's been a fantastic fun time. Um, but um, leave some comments and, and like, well, po like I said, you can message us on Twitter before I've told you guys. Message us on Twitter, YouTube, follow us on there as well. 
Um, we post a lot of goofy videos on YouTube now, so go ahead yeah. and subscribe to us if you want to keep l- watching us do dumb stuff to each yeah, other. Yeah, and comment on, on the podcast and let us know like topics you want us to talk about or movies you want us to talk about your or anything ideas like that. of the shows that we've talked about yeah. what your thoughts are on some of them just talk yeah. to us talk give us, to us give us some of your opinions but uh, thank you for hanging out with us and uh i think we're gonna end it here all right have a good one have a good one guys see you see you